What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We have another Mortal Kombat 1 video for you guys today. Back to the good old data mining of the files. Of course we have to thank Dathini who is always putting in that work for the Mortal Kombat fan base and going through the in-game files and finding a bunch of details about upcoming game modes, upcoming DLC and story expansions, and most importantly, upcoming playable Mortal Kombat characters and guest characters. So with that said, let's get started. Like I mentioned earlier, all this information comes directly from the very credible data miner the Thinny, and this is his Twitter X thread listing off all the details that he found in Mortal Kombat 1's in-game files. The Thinny starts off by listing some possible game modes and character announcer voices that could be making a return in Mortal Kombat 1. The tweets read, MK1 data mine tweet announcers. Here is the list of currently available announcers in the game. Default, Garrus, Johnny Cage, of course, Liu Kang, Shang Tsung, Sindel, which is not available, Sub-Zero, which is also not available, and Omni-Man, which will be DLC. The Thinny continues by posting possible game modes that could be returning as well. Other than the possibility of a tag team mode, not 100% sure on this one, here's a list of modes that have announcer calls or career profile tracking. Test your luck, test your sight, test your strike, scavenger hunt, and mercy. Besides the obvious titles of the actual game modes, the Thinny doesn't have much detail about what these game modes are. We are all pretty familiar with the test your luck, test your sight, and test your strike, but we've never had a game mode called scavenger hunt, and mercy has always traditionally been a sort of trolling at the end of a fight to give your opponent another chance at winning the round. So not sure what this game mode might be exactly. The Thinny then continues to list off major DLC and DLC spoilers he was able to data mine. MK1 datamine tweet adjustment to DLC datamine. And the Thinny does give a warning here, do not read beyond this point to avoid story DLC spoilers and DLC spoilers. I wrote a small algorithm to read a sorted spreadsheet written by Judge, cuz at annoyed sister bullied me to do it, and found the following discoveries. 1. The mysterious Lin Kuei lady and Cyrex of the Shirai Ryu are one person. Cyrex is now a woman. 2. Sector is the second DLC character. 3. Noob Saibot is the third DLC character, friends with Sector. 4. Sector asks Liu Kang to help him save Bi Han and return him to normal. 5. Sector is the Grand Master of the Lin Kuei. 6. Couldn't figure out who the buffed up dude is yet. 7. There is a possibility Terminator T-1000 is the 5th DLC character. And 8. Ghostface is likely the 6th DLC character. Only found references to mask and knife, but the alphabetical order doesn't fit. And the Thinny also continues by updating his initial tweets with more detailed information. Here is his follow up and final tweet. MK1 Datamine Tweet DLC Summary To summarize the past few days, we are expecting the following DLC. Story DLC with characters, another combat pack, and here are the candidates. Story characters Cyrax, Noob, Sector Combat pack characters Jade, Cassie, and Kung Jin Guest characters Ghostface, Terminator T-1000, who will be portrayed by the man Robert Patrick himself and Conan the Barbarian. Not all of those might come, and the order is unknown. We could have three Mortal Kombat characters plus one guest character, then another set of three Mortal Kombat characters plus one guest character, or we could just get a three Mortal Kombat and three guest character set, followed up by the final three story characters. And as always, take everything with a grain of salt, cause things can change, just like they changed with Ash Williams, in Mortal Kombat 11. So yeah, a bunch of details discovered by the Thinny in his conquest through the Mortal Kombat 1 in-game files. We might finally be seeing Sector and Cyrex return as playable characters, albeit Cyrex is now potentially a woman, 
which I don't know how I feel about that and I can hear a bunch of you guys screaming through my computer monitor. I know how you feel. But aside from that, I'm glad to see some classic game modes returning and it appears that NRS may not be going completely overboard with the guest characters again, which I am all for. Save the spots for Mortal Kombat characters. Tremor, Chameleon, Nightwolf, Fujin, Bring all those guys back, no more guest characters, please. As always, leave your comments down below letting me know your thoughts and opinions. If you guys enjoyed the video or found it informative, consider leaving a like, it really helps the channel out. For more content on Mortal Kombat and other video game news, leaks and updates, subscribe to the channel as well. Till next time, I'll catch you guys in the next video.